Hello friends, in this video, we will see how to draw a parabola by directrix focus method. But before we start, let me tell you that the procedure which we are about to see is almost same as that of the procedure to draw an ellipse by directrix focus method. So, if you haven't seen the video where I have explained the term eccentricity and the procedure to draw an ellipse, it will be better to watch that video and the link is provided in the description box. Let's look at the problem statement first. Draw a parabola having the distance of a focus from the directrix 50 mm. As you can see, only one thing is provided in a given data, which is the distance of a focus from the directrix. And that is enough to solve this problem. So, Let's begin. First up, we will draw a vertical straight line as directrix d d dash and after that we will draw a line perpendicular to the directrix at any point on the directrix and mark the point of intersection as O. Now let's use the given data. Focus is going to lie on axis, so take a distance 50 mm from O and mark the point F as focus. Now it's time to locate the vertex. And we know that vertex is going to lie in between O and F. Since eccentricity of parabola is equal to 1, that is Vf upon OV is equal to 1. That gives us Vf equal to OV. So let's mark V as the midpoint of OF. Next, draw a vertical line from V. Then take a radius in a compass equal to Vf and with center V draw an arc which will intersect with the vertical line and name that point as A. Connect OA and extend it further. Now mark the number of points at equal or unequal distance to the right of V. Here, I will mark 4 points. If you want, you can go for 6 to 8 number of points also. Let's name these points as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, let's use all these points by drawing vertical lines from all of them. Make sure that these vertical lines should intersect with the line OA. And then, Name the points of intersection as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Let's use all these points which we have just plotted. So how to use them? Remember what we have done in case of an ellipse? The same thing we have to do here. So here we will take the distance 1 to 1 dash in a compass. F will be the center and then we will cut an arc on a line which is passing through 1, 1 dash, obviously at the top side as well as at the bottom side. Next, we will take the distance in compass which is 2 to 2 dash. Remember the center will be the same which is focus. So F will be the center and we will cut R on the line which is passing through 2 at the top and at the bottom. Next, we will take a distance 3 to 3 dash. F will be the center and we will cut arc on a line which is passing through 3 at the top side as well as at the bottom side. And finally, we will take the distance 4 to 4 dash, F will be the center and we will cut arc on a line at the top side as well as at the bottom side. Now we have got all the points which will be on the curve. If you connect all these points with a smooth curve, then you will have the perfect shape of a parabola. Now let's name the points on the curve P1, P2, P3 and P4 at the top, P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash at the bottom. Finally, let's name this curve as a parabola. If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, then subscribe it to get the notifications of the new videos. We'll see you in next video.